the Betfred Handicap Chase final is next. I'm not quite sure what it's a final. There's not been any qualifiers for it. It's two miles and three, two and three quarter miles, two miles, six furlongs. St. Hernando at the top four, Darren Thompson, Steel George, Stu Gray, Grandewet Anthem, David Robertson, everybody's full, Padre Hogan, Casherelle, Stu Gray's favourite, Alves, Martin Lidham, Faraway Sugar, Daniel French, Pompey Grateful, Vinnie Gerard, Nina Dimaguro, Padre Hogan, Violet, No Waity for Alex Cherry, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper, Postilion, Stu Gray, and Waldorf Salad for Martin Lidham at the bottom. So a field of 12 in this end, called in Anaway and Racing. Into the first of 17 fences, and Casherell gave that an almighty wallop. And Grandewet Anthem didn't get over it at all, and has fallen. So Grandewet Anthem is out. So you win the Grand National one day, and your horse falls at the first fence the next day. The ups and downs of SO7, and another one gone there. Nina Dumagoro, Padre Hogan losing one of his early on as well. So casualties galore so far. Then two out in the first two fences as they head towards the next, and Casherell has now come back through to take it up from Postillion and Wardall Salad with Violet's no weight down on this near side, everybody's full. They all managed to get over it okay. This time with Orange Cassidy, the back marker, and they're heading down towards this next ditch, and Wardall Salad's gone this time, so the fall is coming thick of us, and Pompey Grateful went as well there as well, so we've lost four now altogether. Wardall Salad, to be fair, is more of a hurdler. I wasn't a hurdle race he could really go in this week. And Casherell is the leader from Postillion in second. Then St. Hernando third. Everybody's fall is fourth. Violet's no weight is fifth. Then Steel George and Faraway Sugar. And finally Orange Cassidy. So four of the 12 already departed then. And we've still got two miles to go. And Postillion leads from Casherell with St. Hernando back in third, then everybody's fall and Violet's no weighty, there's Steel George and then the back two are Orange Cassidy and Far Away Sugar, and he's gone there, Far Away Sugar's gone as well, so another one down, and five of the twelve gone now, as they head towards the seventh, and the greatest display of jumping by these chasers as they get over the seventh, and Steel Gray's still got two in the field, they get to the next and it's Postillion who's in the lead from Casherell second everybody's full is back in third then St. Hernando is fourth Violet's no weighty fifth and then Steel George and finally Orange Cassidy who's gone past Steel George there so they come up past the stand then that's the winning post shortly get a complete circuit of the track ahead of them Postillion is in the lead. Suddenly opened up by a good six lengths or so, eight lengths probably. Who everybody's fall in second. And Casherell back in third. And St. Hernando is fourth. The Orange Cassidy still, George, and now Violet's no weighty. The current back marker as they head down towards the next. With Postillion clear in front. Over it well, all jumped it nicely that time. Postillion, Casherell, Saint Hernando, and everybody's full. Really good jumps on the outside there by Orange Cassidy. Again, that one's now really getting into the business end of the race. Postillion continues to lead, they've got a mile still to go. Oh, and he's, he's gone, he's fallen. Orange Cassidy had been jumping really well and making some good ground on the outside then suddenly crashes out of that one so all of a sudden we've only got six left half the field gone as they get into the next and we nearly lost another one there because Steel George gave it an almighty wallop and it's Postillion about to be joined by Casherell over this ditch from St. Hernando and Steel George and everybody's full and finally Violet's no weighty Postillion, the lowest weighted horse left in the race, being joined by Casherell and Steel George is back in third, top weight St. Hernando fourth, then everybody's full, Violet's no weight, he's coming really wide around the outside, may have been just pushed out by a loose horse, they've got four to take, and Postillion and Casherell 
from Steel Georgia dropped that really well has now gone into second so suddenly it's a Stu Gray 1-2 cash on coming under a little bit of pressure St. Hernando trying to run over that final ditch they go and it's Steel Georgia goes into the lead Cacherel trying to fight back. Postillion on the inside. St. Hernando coming through with a run. Everybody's fall is still there as well. And everybody's no weighty. He's at the back. They're coming down to the second last. And over that one, it was just Steel George. Cacherel on the inside is beginning to fight back though. St. Hernando looking a big danger despite the big weight. They're at the final fence. And it's Cacherel landed in the lead. Cacherel's in front. Here comes St. Hernando. Steel George is trying to battle back. Cacherel is hanging on. But St. Hernando is starting to wear him down. Cacherel's in front. Here comes St. Hernando with a late lunge, but it's going to be Casherell that takes it. Stu Gray's favourite horse wins again, and Casherell takes it from St. Hernando. Still, George was third. I think everybody's full finished well. Casherell, the winner of oh, all Marty Leland. Must have not had a good, not had a good run the last few weeks. Poor Cheltenham, but back with a win here. Poor Liverpool as well, and. Cacherel takes it then for Martin Denham. St. Hernando second for Darren Thompson. Steel George for Stu Gray was third. Everybody's full for Padraig Hogan was fourth. And Postillion for Stu Gray was fifth.